Now, in the United States, one in five young people have a diagnosable mental health disorder, but many are not seeking treatment, causing their conditions to only get worse, leading some to suicide. Not on your side's Veronica Vernaccio joins us in studio to explain how a local initiative in Southern Arizona is hoping to change that. Taja, this initiative is called Help and Hope for Youth. One of the ways they're spreading awareness by having suicide survivors go to schools across Southern Arizona and tell their stories. I caught up with one of those survivors who's been struggling with suicidal thoughts since before she was even a teenager. I drank a bunch of pills, whatever pills I could find in the house, and I swallowed it down with some rubbing alcohol. At 10 years old, Ernestina Lamone made her first suicide attempt. And I got so sick and we were at church and I was lying on the pews and I couldn't and my mom and dad didn't know what was wrong and I had a fever and still to this day don't know how I survived that. This became the first of many attempts. Lamone says it started when she was being bullied at school. They held me down and they threw lizards and horned toads and crickets and whatever else they could find on me and let the things squirm all over me. According to the National Institute for Mental Health, suicide is the second leading cause of death for youth ages 10 to 34. Diane Ryan with Sonoran Behavioral Health says one of the biggest reasons, bullying. Things are dark and they're not getting any better and it just looks like there's no light and there's no way to resolve the things that are painful and they're just sad. Leading many people to think suicide is the only option, but an initiative in Southern Arizona called Help and Hope for Youth has been trying to help change that for the past year by letting youth know help is there and they're not alone. Mental health is part of your overall well-being. If your brain's not okay, how can every other part of your body be okay? Your brain controls everything. They have two programs in local schools. Text Talk Act for kids to get into small groups and talk about their experiences and ending the silence where suicide survivors can get in front of students and talk about how they've overcome their struggles. Lamone is one of those survivors. Just really getting the kids to understand what it is and what it means to have a mental illness, um, to struggle with suicide and to know that there's options that they have. It makes them feel they're not alone. And it also gives them hope. It gives them hope of that that individual has been living with a mental health condition and they're here. They're still here. They're OK. And they have passed whatever situation they've been experiencing. I am a survivor of multiple suicide attempts and um, I don't want anybody living their life the way I've had to live mine. Veronica Vernaccio, KGA 9 on your side.